Dada hit the lever, runners sent on their way from the 1400 meter marker, Roy's Monkey a little bit slow to go. First one out is Swan Don, Zilla is right there, Ice Gem is at the rail, Timber Hitch is also among the leading group and on the outside Red Moon at night caught a couple deep as they move towards the 800 meter area. Further back in the running on the outside is Feature Bird and they're followed by Classy Sheik. Chronological is about seven lengths off the leader. Then comes Roy's Monkey, Bondi Babe, and Roy's Dollar has moved up into that third position with the white blinkers. Timber Hitch has the lead by a length. Red Moon at night is second. At the rail is Swan Dance. On the outside, the blinkers of Roy's Dollar. Zilla is about four lengths off the leader. The Pinkock Feature Bird. Chronologicals towards the inside. And then comes Roy's Monkey. Further back is Ice Gem, Bondi Babe. Top of the lane, Timber Hitch the leader, Red Moon at night the first one to challenge and then comes Roy's Dollar, Chronological on the inside and then comes Swan Dance, coming to the 300 meter marker, Red Moon at night is drifting towards the inside, Timber Hitch, Chronological is now trying to run on, Red Moon at night the leader, Chronological is starting to warm up, Red Moon at night still the leader though and continues to go and it's Red Moon at night to win it. Second position will go to Chronological, then Classy Schick and Roy's Dollar. So victory is for number six, Red Moon at Night. Red Moon at Night, the daughter of JPEG, Sean Ville, and Red Moon at Night, fourth time at the track, first time in KwaZulu Natal for Brett Crawford, and number six wins it, and wins it well. It shows up on the tote at 40 rand a win, 40 rand a win, 680 a place, number six, Red Moon at Night. Second, we'll go to number three, Chronological. Third, Classy Chic, fourth to number seven, Roy's Dollar. Followed by Roy's Monkey, and then came Swan Dance, Bondi Babe, Ice Gem, and then came Feature Bird. They were followed by Zilla, Timber Hitch showed pace, so we'll come on with the run under the girth. A well detached field, let's look at this, Red Moon at night moves towards the center and Timber Hitch had to be taken up, but Red Moon at night Goes on to score. Chronological is staying on at the business end to take that second position. And it's Red Moon at night continues to go. And Chronological will take that second position. That's the running of the second race. The Toad favourite ended up number three, Chronological. And until the running of the third race, which will start off our place accumulator, back to the studio. Another JPEG to arrive, Red Moon at Night, the daughter of JPEG. This is from the Highlands Farm Stud, owned by Ms. Doms Doyle, Knowles, Richards, Thurlow, South Africa. Well done, you were just touching on that last run was in the very soft conditions. Yeah, no, that meeting I was actually mind blown away that they actually continued it because it was so, so bad. And she just didn't act in the game. And you know, we had nominated her for other races and she got eliminated, so we took our chances on the poly and um, she enjoyed that immensely. Well done, nice to get the only runner on the day in the winner's box. Yeah, no, thanks a lot. I want to say well done to Sean, he's been putting in a bit of work and from a bad draw he wrote a cracker. And good luck to the owners and to Brett and that in Cape Town. Well done, let's get Sean Veal. Now it's all about getting across from those draws and you had in a striking position. Yes, you know, I spoke to Kone Offer. He said to me, she's quite a nice filly and they fancied her. She was supposed to run two weeks ago, she got eliminated, I was disappointed. And then this race came along, I said to Brett, uh, to Barry, Barry said to Brett, we might as well run this fully from any draw. And uh, I said, uh, on her work, I couldn't give anybody confidence, she was working so well. 
But uh, in saying that, this Felicia was doing well at home and uh, well done to Barry and his team here. Yeah. Big thanks to Mr. Crawford to Kone Offer for getting me the opportunity by Mr. Crawford, you know. From the beginning of the season, I was working for them and then I broke my wrist and uh, I had to just restart again from over and uh, I'm just grateful for the opportunity, you know. Just thanks to Mr. Crawford, to Bear and uh, to Kone and the rest of their team. Thank you very much. Miss Stingray, you give her a bit of a chance? Yes, you know, also drawn wide, but uh, she drops herself in that filly, so I'll be doing my best work at the end. She's doing well at home. I'm hoping to ride another winner. Well done, Sean. Thanks, and just again, once again, thanks to Barry for the opportunity. Well done to all concerned, all the winning connections. Number six, Red Moon at night. She's come good. First try in KwaZulu-Natal, and she hits the soft spot. The bullseye in the winner's box.